The Israeli military launching new airstrikes against what officials say are Hezbollah terror targets in Lebanon. The IDF saying it struck 120 targets today alone, including rockets they say were aimed at Israeli territory. Hezbollah also increasing strikes into Israel over the last week. However, the Israeli military says Israel's air defense system intercepted most of those rockets. According to the Lebanese Minister of Public Health, at least 21 people were killed in eastern Lebanon today and at least 33 people died on Saturday, dozens more injured. Among those killed on Saturday, Nabil Kauk, a high-ranking Hezbollah commander. His death coming just one day after the terrorist group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike on Friday. These videos showing some of the devastation left behind in the Dahia and Haret Hark areas of Beirut. The White House says that Hezbollah's command structure has been nearly decimated and that thousands of the terrorist group's drones and missiles have been destroyed. I don't think we have a clear picture of exactly how much capability they have. Uh, you can't just count them out. They still have quite a bit of capability left. Today, the Israeli military says it has carried out a large-scale air operation against targets belonging to Houthis in Yemen. In a statement, the IDF saying it blames Iranian transfers of weapons, supplies, and oil to the Houthis, adding the operation was in response to recent attacks by the Houthis against Israel. A senior Israeli official tells ABC News the strike was coordinated with the U.S. but was an Israeli operation. And meanwhile, the Pentagon says it has increased the readiness of additional U.S. forces to deploy to the Middle East if needed. Inez Delacuatera, ABC News, Tel Aviv.